You're about to learn a cunning trick to make your girlfriend or wife love you more. Yes, I call it cunning, because it's rather sneaky or even slightly unethical. So, before we begin, I have to put this disclaimer out. If you're unwilling to bend a few rules, then you should probably stop watching. But, if you have an open mind and you want to learn new ways to improve yourself, you'll love this. Before we start, however, let me ask you a super important question. Do you think your girlfriend or wife love you more than you love her? Your answer will determine everything, so take a moment to reflect. Does she love you more than you love her back? If your answer is no, guess what? I've got some bad news for you. I hate to say this, but it's true. If you love her more than she loves you, your relationship or marriage is heading to failure. There's a reason for this. In her mind, she already has you in the bag. She doesn't need to do anything to keep you, right? And if you've noticed how your woman is being ungrateful and disrespectful, this is the reason. But you know what? You can't blame her entirely, because it's only human nature. I mean, it happens to everyone. Think back to a time when you really put your heart into getting something you wanted. Maybe it was a promotion, an exotic vacation, or a business deal. When you finally got it, I bet you were over the moon with excitement. But here's the twist. What happened a few weeks down the line? Once the novelty has worn off, you felt bored, right? Maybe you even wondered, is this it? Well, here's the thing. That's what she also thinks when she believes she has won you over. And the risk is that it might harm your relationship or marriage in more ways than one. So, let's fix the situation before it all goes to shit, okay? Why do we love our girlfriends or wives more than they love us back? Here's the answer. It's because society tells us it's the right thing to do. As good men, we must be fair and honest. We must be ready to sacrifice for others. If we're not, they call us sexist or misogynist or selfish. Don't get caught in that trap. Let's take a trip down memory lane. In the past, before all this political correctness came into play, the divorce rate was less than 10%. But with the rise of these ideas of equality and fake morality, over 50% of marriages ended in divorce. That's a five-fold increase. Do you see the danger? Because I do. But you're here today, so consider yourself saved. Few guys out there will get to know this, and that saddens me. But I'll do my bit and spread the word one man at a time, so I'm thankful you're here. Let's now dive into the meat and potatoes of this video. How do you make your woman love you more than you love her? We'll start by defying social norms and break some rules, and you'll do this with a Shogun Method tactic we call the Fear Factor. What's the Fear Factor? Well, it's the fear that she could still lose you and everything you bring to her life. It's the fear she has lost once she became your girlfriend or wife. Because, as we Shoguns know, we need our women to have a tinge of fear for us to control their relationship. She'll grow more appreciative, respectful, and supportive if she has something to lose. Does that make sense to you? Now, our critics like to scream at us. This is wrong. How can you teach men to make their women fearful? And that's why knowledge like Shogun Method is controversial. It makes your relationship lopsided, uncertain, and, you guessed it, a bit morally murky. Yet, strangely, this is precisely what'll bring your woman more happiness and contentment. And, of course, she'll feel a deeper love for you than ever. So, if you're hesitating, that's normal. It's the societal norms drilled into you talking. But remember, our goal is solid, happy relationships with our women. Ethics be damned. And honestly, anything beats a lousy 50% chance of success, right? So, okay, if you're fully on board, here's how the Shogun Method Fear Factor works. Here's the first thing to do. Start by taking up manly hobbies. Dive into activities that make you look and feel more rugged and masculine. We're talking about things like lifting weights, woodworking, motorbiking, fishing, and hunting. These are what Derek Rake calls the pursuits of the virtuous masculine. And here's the point. This not only ramps up your charm in her eyes, but also catches the attention of other women. And you know what? She'll see it, and it'll shake her up. As she gets into a possessive streak, she steps back from taking you for granted. When other women begin to notice you, guess what happens? Your girlfriend or wife kicks into mate-guarding mode, because there's nothing sexier than a man with a purpose, and that'll keep her on her toes. That's the first part of the fear factor strategy. The second part follows naturally from the first, and it's this. Put her in the second place. Okay, what's in the first place then? 
let her be your second priority. There's got to be something else in your life that takes the top spots. It's a cause you'd lay it all on the line for, like championing a cause you're passionate about. For example, we here at Shogun Method HQ are all about training the next generation of virtuous men, or you might want to build a million dollar empire. What's one thing you dedicate your life to, even if it meant parting ways with your woman? Here's the trick, make that your top priority. And when you do, your woman will take notice. It'll hit her like a bolt of lightning, making her understand that to be with you, she must treat you like a king. She'll steer clear of those pesky habits you can't stand. No more like nitpicking, nagging, and pulling stupid shit tests on you. Now, there's the third part of the fear factor I'll only mention briefly here. That's where you turn up the fear dial slightly higher. How? Easy. Disappear without telling her where you went. Use Shogun Method and have a bit of fun with other women. Or even pretend to dump her when she gets too bitchy. But you know what? Let's keep those tricks in the back pocket for now. Instead, focus on picking up a masculine hobby and slotting her as your second priority. There you have it. A cunning way to keep your woman attracted to you. The reason it's cunning is that it strikes deep into the truth about love nobody else talks about. To keep a woman attracted, she must be fearful that she loses you. Sure, it might ruffle some feathers by conventional standards, but who cares what others think, right? So, give it a whirl. You'll see she becomes more drawn to you, more considerate, and strangely enough, more hooked on you. Now, if you want to know the definitive way to keep your girlfriend or wife attracted to you, do what us shoguns do. Strike fear into her heart. Because the fear of losing you will keep her in line, and that's a great way to start. But here's the kicker. You don't want to overdo the fear factor, that's for sure. Long-term fear is never good for any relationship. You want her love but you still want her to be happy, right? So, here's the thing to do. Gradually turn the fear into emotional addiction. As Derek Rake points out, love isn't only about attraction. Love is about emotional addiction. A woman will stand by you when she's hooked on you emotionally. Now, you might think, how can I create that emotional addiction in my woman? To tackle this, again, we must be ready to toss out every conventional rule. Political correctness must go out the window. There's no place for societal norms, only the truth. And the truth is what I am going to teach you might seem manipulative by standards of normal people. It's your call whether to use this technique, but think about it this way. Imagine having a regular chat with your woman. However, as time goes on, you'll see her falling more in love with you. It's like going back to the early days of your relationship. Everything felt fresh, joyful, and like she was falling for you all over again. How would that make you feel? Great, right? So, what's this technique? We shoguns call it fractionation. It's sneaky, it's captivating, and the most important thing is it gets results. Here's the deal. Some see fractionation as something dark and lacking morals, and I see their point. It can intimidate those who are timid or narrow-minded. But, since you've watched so far, I think you're like me. You're open to new ideas, knowing that they can make you a better man, a better boyfriend, a better husband. Certainly, fractionation isn't for everyone, but you're not everyone, are you? What comes next is that you're going to dive into learning how to use fractionation on your woman. So, here's the plan. At the end of this video, you'll find a link. This link will lead you to an online masterclass by us at Shogun Method HQ. In this masterclass, we'll teach you fractionation. You'll learn how it operates, and how to apply it like a seasoned shogun. And yes, it will enable you to control and dominate your relationship, just as your woman desires. So, go ahead, click on the link and join the Online Fractionation Masterclass. If you can't spot the link in the video, be sure to check the video description, or visit this site directly, fractionation.org.